Hey, I just saw Sue do the beautiful covers tag and I didn't know what video to make today, so I decided to do that. I wasn't tagged, at least I don't think so, but I just wanted to do it because you know me and I love covers. The tag was created by Heavy Blanks. I'll leave both their videos in the end screen. I do apologize that the end screen doesn't look as beautiful as in the beginning of the month anymore, but I have computer problems at the moment, so I have to use a different editing software again. And I hate it, it's annoying. But the tag has seven questions. The first one is choose five of the most beautiful books in your collection. And I'm going to cheat here because you already know the most beautiful books I have. So I decided I'm going to choose for this tag books that I don't usually show, that I haven't shown to you like tons of times already. So the first book my eyes fell upon was The Last Hero by Terry Pratchett. I love this. It's an illustrated novel and I love the colors, the design, the shininess and I love Rinsman. You know he's one of my favorite characters of all time and how this represents the scream and I wish I knew who painted it. Well, it reminds me of that picture. I'll check it out and leave a link somewhere. And it just represents his character so well, how he's always afraid and everything. And on the back, you can see different colors. I love that, that it changes the colors on the back. And there's Cohen and he's the last hero, of course. The next book I chose is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman because I love that it doesn't use so many colors. It's rather plain, but with these colors, the different shades, it says so much. And this character in black, he just stands out so well. And I don't know if you can see that, but the way they look and his blonde hair, it, it's just, it's amazing, this cover. And on the back, we have this beautiful lady on a horse. The next book I chose doesn't have a lot of colors. It's Tinkers by Paul Harding. And I really like the gold writing and it's, um, is it embossed? I still don't know what that actually is, but you can feel it when you run your hands over it. And I like that it has little colors, a little on the cover and the watch here. Sorry that I always look at the screen, but I like these little things, these little nice, yeah, these little touches that the cover has. On the back, they continue, like you can see the watch or whatever that is goes around. And I love the color, it's, it's like a grayish color. Really like that with the gold. The next cover I chose is Furman by Sam Savage. And I really like this book on a book cover idea and with this little rat tail and that subtitle that it says here, um, Adventures of a Metropolitan Low Life. And there's a little rat and it's, you can see the book was chewed upon. And I really loved the idea and the pink on the, yeah, it's, what is that? Yellowish color. And I really liked it and I thought it was very appealing. It's a good book. And the last book I chose is Mr. Pip by Lloyd-Jones. Because I really like the idea with all the flowers on the cover and you can see they go all the way around. And if you look really, really careful... Where is it? Down there is a person. And I really like that. All the colors, they just called out to me. I don't know. And yeah. Colors on books and flowers and love the title, Mr. Pip. Question number two, choose a beautiful book that features your most favorite color. I'm not sure if you know that, but red is my most favorite color and I'm currently reading The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a ship of her own making. And I'll tell you all about the book tomorrow, but look at the cover with all the red. I love the shininess and it goes like yellowish on the side. It's beautiful. Red on the back with swirls. Is it swirls? I'm lacking vocabulary today, sorry but I, I just love the red of the cover. Question number three, choose a beautiful book that features your least favorite color. I don't really have a least favorite color. I couldn't decide on that. So I chose a cover that I really don't like. It's, it's really the blue doesn't appeal to me, then the pictures or whatever that's floating around with the guy down here. It's, it's sort of representing him in a desert, which is connected to the book and the story in the book. Why is my battery flashing now? Um, but I really don't like the cover. I basically bought it because I wanted to read the book by Nita Carl Krauss. I read one of her books and I loved it. And so I wanted to read her first book. Don't buy this book, it's not so good. Question number four, choose your favorite cover of a classic. Most of my classics are the standard Penguin books, which are not beautiful and they don't look good. So I chose On the Road by Jack Kerouac. 
Kerouac, On the Road by Jack Kerouac. Kerouac, I can't say that name. I chose On the Road and I love it because of all the little pictures that, yeah, represent what's going on in the story. Question number five, choose your favorite cover of a children's book. Well, it might not be my favorite cover, but it's a cover I really, really like. And it's um, The Amulet of Smarkant. It's from the Bartimaeus trilogy. I love how it shines and reflects, this bluish. And when you put your hands over the amulet, you can feel it. I really like that. And I love that there's a frame and the writing. Can you see the writing? I really love the font. Question number six. Do you often buy books based solely on a beautiful cover? You all know the answer to that. I always do that. I have so many books I only bought because I like the cover and some of them I didn't like. A lot of them I really loved, but some of them were not good buys. That doesn't stop me from doing it again. Question number seven. Out of every book that you own, which book best exemplifies your idea of a beautiful book? I chose a book that I don't think I've shown you before and that's Summer Crossing by Truman Capote. I love the colors and how they work together with the writing that white on the pink and the girl in the 50s style i mean it's a 50s story so that perfectly works and I, I love how it goes all the way around can you see your leg it goes all the way and i just love how it plays together and i really love when covers are painted and not photographed and i love when they play with the colors either they have one featuring color or like with mr pip before where they had so many colors and they were just connected and when you find hidden things in the cover that's something i really like too so my battery is still flashing and i don't know how long it'll last so that was a beautiful cover tag i thank you all for watching do the tag I want to see beautiful covers. I think we all want to see beautiful covers. And I really like the idea of seeing covers that we don't show all the time. So maybe you want to show the beautiful covers that you haven't shown to us. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. The next cover is a different design again. It's Furman by Fred Sa Sam Savage, not Fred Savage. Ah. The, the next... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, 